all right guys we are back with another video this year is your first time tuning in with me my name is fastlane m5 go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and hit that subscribe button down beneath the um like button but today we have here the 2020 mustang some of us love it some of us hate it um, i know all of you mopar and chevy guys get into it about these cars all the time so i thought why not bring it to the channel? This is a great, great color. I like it a lot. I like all of the black accents. That's black right there. The 5.0 at the bottom is black. You have the gloss black grill. Then the matte black horse. That's very, very neat. Um, the two hood scoops. I believe they should have did something a little bit more aggressive with the scoops probably going up and making it more aggressive for the driver. I always liked um, a big hood in front of my um, windshield when I'm driving so it actually feels like I'm driving a muscle car but this car is 10 speed um I believe it's uh 400 450 horsepower somewhere around that ballpark um starting around thirty six thousand dollars I would have chose the blacked out wheels but this car right here it sounds great and crap It's one of the best sounding V8 ever made. Um, as you can see, those dual pipes on both sides, you have one right here. Then you have the other right there on your right, of course. Then you have the backup light. Um, it reminds me of a Ferrari. If you all know which Ferrari I'm talking about, put it down in the comments below. But you have that blue spoiler. I probably would have went with a black spoiler. And I know this is someone else's car but that's just my personal preference. If I would have customized this car and paid all of that money for it to be optioned out, would have went with different color brake calipers, but these wheels are looking great. They're not the normal black wheels that we usually see, but let's hop right on in guys. As you can see, here's the key fob. You have the Mustang horse. Then we have our unlock. We have our lock button, and then we have our remote start in tap it two times for the trunk release and then the panic alarm so what we're going to do is we're going to remote start it guys i'm going to click that lock button once click that two times it's going to fire right up from sounds very very good for it to be coming from the factory and this one does have the smart access feature as you can see the ridge is right there what you're going to do is just put your hand behind it it's just going to open right up without even having the key um, in your hand or personally with the key. You can just keep it in your um, pocket if you would like. But as you can see the Mustang down below, the sporty race pedals. Those race pedals are pretty, pretty deep too. Like for the driver, or whatever it is like that, those brake pedals are pretty, pretty deep. Um, I love how Ford GM decided to do like all of the chrome aluminum. It looks so real, like real aluminum. It doesn't look like any cheap plastic. As you all can see coming over here, you have the blue and black stitching. Most Mustangs do not come with that. As you all know, the rear seats are very, very tough to sit behind, but those are some very, very nice bucket seats. They're so personalized to the rear passengers, how they're, um, how would I say, how they're hugging you down below and on your back and sides. Now let's close that up. I won't even attempt to try and get back there because I know it's going to be very, very tough. But you're going to, once you um, hop in, obviously the car isn't going to be completely on. But what you're going to do is put your foot on the brake pedal and hit that start button. And she's going to fire right up. We're going to close that door. <clears throat> I always loved Mustang steering wheels. These steering wheels are just made phenomenally. Like, I like this over Mopar. I like this steering wheel over um chevrolet camaros i like them period because they just like like going back to the aluminum this aluminum look just like so realistic like it doesn't look like any cheap plastic crap guys even the mustang horse and then you have the ring around it and it just looks so qualified that's what i would call it qualified and then coming down here you have your aluminum buttons as well you have your 
hazard. You have your traction off. That's very dangerous with the Mustang. Then you have your um, steering wheel, how you like your steering wheel tight, obviously, or comfort. You pick your choice. And then, I mean, Mustang just did it all. Mustang have did it all with this um, car. Then you come back up, aluminum again. This feels very, very good. But you might want to be careful and watch the actual gears because I didn't mean to go into drive and that happens pretty often. I mean, I meant to go into drive, but it actually puts me in sport. So that's pretty, pretty tough. But let's put, pop it up like that and it's going to go straight into drive, guys. But coming along here, we have our volume. Then we have our basically tune-in station or whatever it is like that. And I believe this is touchscreen as well. And yes, I'm correct. But you have your audio, climate, phone, navigation. You tell me what you will like. And it'll take you there, guys. If you like to turn the screen off. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was the power button to turn the screen off. But I was mistaken, guys. Well, I'm not sure what, the, oh, that button is for the music. I'm sorry, that button is for the music, whether you would like to turn the music on or whether you would like to turn it off. You have the aluminum rings right here for the climate control. This is dual climate climate control, I believe, with um, it being hot, if you would like, for the passenger, and cold, if you would like, for the driver. And as you can see, it tells you all of the info on the screen. This is a very neat screen. It's not doing too much or doing too little. You have the aluminum around the cup holders. This customer personally liked the blue and the black, and it looks really, really good with the outside of the car and it matches it so well. But let's, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that horse and you have plenty of options on this steering wheel as well. But we're gonna click that horse and this is gonna take us to cluster appearance and go to normal. And let's see how normal looks guys. This is the normal Mustang. This is the normal Mustang mode. Now let's click that again. I don't wanna go through all of them, but I just wanna show you how cool Chevrolet have made these modes because I don't believe Mopart or Chevy does this. I believe Mustang is the only one. As you all can see, that's a different mode. It was the full circle on this side, but now it's a half a circle and going straight to the um, speedometer. Let's click that Mustang again and go down the track. Click OK. This was the mode we was in the first time. As y'all can see, the rev line is all the way up and it just shows you mile per hour. I believe this is the best mode to have your Mustang in. Comment down in the description below. I mean, in the comments below if you um, think that this isn't the best one. But let's go back. This is how you click the back button, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Mustang isn't trying to work with me today, guys. Oh, but here we go. Here we go. But you have the exhaust mode right here. If you would like to um, calm down your um, exhaust from quiet to whatever it is like that when you get into your neighborhood. One thing that sucks, there isn't a button for you to actually put it into. Um, there isn't a button for you to actually quiet the exhaust. Like you have to go into the menus and change it or whatever it is like that. I'm not a big fan of that, but hey, I can't complain. But you have your downshift. I mean, you have your downshift, I'm sorry, downshift and upshift right here. I would prefer bigger shifter pedals because this isn't gonna work right here, guys. It just doesn't feel sporty. But I understand because they probably didn't want to hit the washer, um, the windshield wipers or either the turning signals. But, um. Oh, I didn't know it was in drive. <laughs> but let's go ahead and step out and I'm gonna show you all the trunk space and show you all the engine compartment. Probably just the engine compartment since most of you probably do wanna see the engine on this 10 speed. But I'll catch you all when I get to the engine. So here's the Ford Mustang. Ooh. Engine right here, guys. Oh, that thing is heavy. As y'all can see, this is the big 5.0. <laughs> this is the big 5.0. I'm pretty sure that you can take this um, cover off and you can have easy access to work on it. I didn't know that it was this big though, guys. Yeah, but let's close that hood up. And 
I believe that's gonna wrap up today's review, guys. This is the 2020 Mustang GT. And like I said, I personally like this color. And if you like this video, please like first, then subscribe to my channel because there will be more and more car reviews going on my channel. Um, but as far as that, guys, I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.